Hello, beautiful Geminis. We are here for your you versus them love reading. Okay, Gemini, let's take a look. You are willing to fight for this relationship. We have the nine of wands. That's a warrior spirit. You feel as though this person is your soulmate. You love them. Gemini, this is your card. You've shown up in your reading. You're just willing to do whatever it takes. The nine of wands says you are in it to win it. You want whatever you want this relationship and you will do what it takes. So really incredible energy, beautiful energy. We see that you're you're really assessing things right now. Right now, you're willing to invest in this relationship and grow it into a marriage. So that energy just says four of wands energy is typically the bride and groom dancing under the garland. In this particular instance, it's like building, you know, putting the seeds in for a mighty tree to grow something that's legacy. We get that you're very much in love with your person. You find them magical. Again, this is now Gemini. This is your energy again, and it's Virgo energy. So you're very much in love with this person. You are bedazzled by them. That was probably the wrong term. Aren't bedazzled like beads or something. Uh, but I'm getting that you really find this person intriguing, enticing. You are not wanting to give up. The overall energy here is tick-tock. You do feel as though time is ticking. You are at peace with things, but both of you feel as though there are there's work to be done in the relationship with Clean It Up. Your person feels absolutely the way you do. There's something just magical about your relationship. You're manifesting each other. Both of you are super attracted to each other. The chemistry is there. This is my number one chemistry card. If you want to see if somebody thinks that another person's a good lover, this is it. You know, it's a card that just says that there's a wonderful level of mystique, allure. You're always curious about each other. You know, both of you are manifesting one another. Now, your person is has been alone for a while. I'm getting that this energy of the Nine of Pentacles, they're very, this is Virgo energy and this is Gemini Virgo energy. So your person is invested in the relationship. You know, they definitely feel as though you are fine a wine, that you are, you look good, you smell good, you dress beautifully, you have a beautiful home, you have exotic birds. They feel as though you may be above their pay grade, that they, maybe they aren't as good enough to have you. You're the high priestess. You are a leader in whatever it is that you do. They would like to marry you. You know, this is a marriage card. This is a marriage card actually right next to each other. You know, the seven of discs says that you're willing to invest in this card. You know, when we look at the high priestess card, she is invested already. We get your person feels as though equal give and take may not be possible, that they may not be able to give you what you want, that they, I would even go as far as to say that they may feel so unequal here, that they feel as though there is some sort of discussion going on about money and equality with money. Let's take a look and see what that is all about. Let's see. Tell us more spirit about, I want to get this set. Okay. Tell us more spirit about this Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the worst is over. So why do we have the Ten of Swords here? What's the TikTok? Okay. So we're going to clarify these. We're going to clarify this. The rest of the cards are quite stunning. They're very beautiful. The Magician card is one of the most powerful cards in the entire Tarot deck. You are manifesting each other. You love one another. This High Priestess is a tremendous, nurturing kind of motherly love. Um, it's a high, The High Priestess is a High Priestess before she becomes the Empress in the Tarot Journey of Life. Movement of Pentacles. Okay. So it's interesting because your person would be inclined to leave if this relationship takes too long to unfold. And that fits very well with TikTok. So you don't feel that way. How does how do you feel about the timing of this? Let's see. How do you feel, Gemini, about the timing? 
you're much more content. You're, you know, timing is not that important to you. You, the Wheel of Fortune, you're willing to wait this out. I'm getting the Strength card. You don't really have a time limit. But for something about your person, it, it looks as though they think that there is a time limit that needs to be adhered to for this relationship to work out. So there is something about timing here. Tick tock, the clock is ticking. Both of you are at peace with it and both of you know that there's something to clean up. So let's see what that is. The Hierophant card here um, with the Four of Wands, that's that strong marital energy. Okay, Six of Wands. Both of you want to be winners. The Innocence of Swords tells me that there may be um, children involved. The Ace of Pentacles, again, is clarifying that. Okay, so it does look like one of you is better off financially than the other. And Gemini, your person is very concerned that if they can't, if they don't have as much money, that that may be an obstacle. It makes them feel embarrassed and ashamed. I'm getting that, you know, you're not bothered by it. I'm getting that you you see things as like, well, it is what it is. Both of you do feel as though you can manifest a very prosperous being, but I'm really still getting your person feels like they have to compete with your past or with you, um, that when they get in this feeling, they have a tendency to withdraw from you. Let's see what the outcome card, let's see what that 10 of swords means longer term in this relationship because right here it shows somebody walking away but the rest of the cards do not really um, support that so it can be well we'll just find out what it is so what is that energy what does Jim and I need to know about that ten of swords energy with their person why is this person worried about timing why is this so important that they feel that they wouldn't have a choice the Sun card they want to be happy so they feel as though, I, I get the feeling that your person has a tendency right now under the circumstances in which you, the two of you are sort of stuck because it does look like that. It does look like it, there's not a lot, a lot of action forward. Tick tock, time is running out. So that could be somebody's visa. That could be somebody's work engagement. It could be somebody coming home from the military or, you know, to be together. But what I'm getting here is they time is running out. They feel as though if time runs out and they lose you, there will be great unhappiness. Let's see what else. Why would why is this threat here in the relationship? Why is TikTok here? Why is there a threat here? Again, I almost feel like it's travel ban, status, COVID. I feel as though there's just something that has nothing to do with the relationship itself directly that is interfering. Knight of Swords, speaking swiftly, a new beginning. Okay, so the Knight of Swords runs with scissors and wants to stop something else. They want to get out of something. The Knight of Swords is about, uh, they're going to come in with the cobra there and they definitely want to have a strike force against someone else. Someone else that they think is um, taking away or diminishing this relationship. So there could be an ex in the picture somewhere. Um, you know, it could be a divorce that's, you know, could expire. Or there's, a, again, a time clock ticking with somebody that your person wants to be gone from their life that seems to be holding back your relationship and your ability to move forward. I do see that this person cleaning it up means it's a brand new beginning for the two of you. So Gemini, that is beautiful energy for you. Sending you love from Chicago, sends them back, and tell me where you're from.